Well, a grave site has become a symbol of royal, royal embarrassment for over 200 years now. Queen Nandi, the power behind King Shaga, is credited with molding her son into becoming one of the most powerful leaders of his time. But an age-old royal rift between the Mthongos, Nandi's family and the Zulu clan over damages for her pregnancy continues to haunt her spirit. Her family believes she was never recognized as a queen. So that everything will be in order, the Zulu royal family have to come here and perform a ritual to officially accept Nandi. They were not supposed to only take Shaka alone without his mother. Nandi gave birth to Shaka out of wedlock. His father was Senzanga Kona, a chief of a small Zulu clan. The then 29-year-old Shaga took over the reins from his father and later launched himself as a prolific military ruler. He conquered many tribes and later formed the powerful Amazulu Empire. But his mother never received the recognition others say she deserved. Her grave lies unattended and in a bad state. The Zulu royal family blames government for this. All the graves of prominent people are the responsibility of government. I am not sure if Amafa in KwaZulu-Natal have other reasons not to take care of the grave. Amafa Heritage KwaZulu-Natal, which administers protected structures in the province, denies that the grave is neglected. It says a sculpture symbolic of Nandi's status will be erected at the grave site once the Mthongos put their differences aside. Vusi Kumalo, SAPC News, Eshowe.